Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Let's fucking go. Today's video is gonna be a little, a little bit different because I'm unboxing a webcam today. The webcam is Razer Kio. You will see it in just a second. First, I'll have to open this fucking box. So let's do this real quick. Okay, give up you fucking duct tape. And inside the box, this is it. Some safety shit and our webcam. That's not useful anymore. Just like this shit. Oh, I just tapped my mic, sorry. And this is it. This is it, the webcam Razer Kio. So, let's open it. There's a thing on the sticker that shows you how to do this, or, or maybe not. Wait a second. I think it's Supposed to rip in half, but not like that. Fuck it. Give me that fucking knife. That's better. Let's open it up. And this is going to be the first thing you see. A congratulations letter, letter from Razer, as always, with all their products. Even more foil with the rest of the congratulation letters. And the product itself with some actually pretty nice foam to protect it. A very nice wire. And how do I pull it out? Am I supposed to pull it out with the foam or... Okay, just like that. It's actually pretty fucking massive. You can compare it to my hand right now. I tapped my mic again, sorry. And it is fucking massive. You can already notice the, the big ass uh, LED ring around it. And it, it extends like this. That's how you attach it to your to your monitor and you can also mount it on a tripod right here so let's put it on and see what it looks like so I already installed it it finally looks like a legit fucking webcam because since now I was recording with my phone on something like this yes I know very fucking professional but now I can finally get rid of it Maybe a bit later, before I break my webcam. As you can see, it is fucking massive. This is a 27 inch screen. And it is absolutely fucking massive. And also it is quite heavy. But after I plugged it in, something like this popped up. So apparently it likes the newer Razer Synapse better. So let's update it. And it's already here. It already displays as one of my devices. You can already see here Razer Kio. And you can see what the camera sees right now. As well like this. And I can also do advanced settings. This shit is all in Polish, so sorry about that. And I'm going to keep it with this. Simple settings are enough. You can you can adjust shit like brightness. Yeah. What was the normal volume? Uh, 128, right? 128. 120, 128 for fuck's sake. Okay. Contrast. 128. And saturation. Let's give it at the base setting 
and why balance what balance let's fuck around with that i have i've heard that this camera has a problem with with this shit that it has a tendency to make everything mm, blue or blue or or uh, or yellow or more like orange and this one doesn't look too bad or at least i think so yeah it looks okay so i'm not gonna fuck around with that i can also show you guys in a minute what it looks like on obs you can see my obs right now so i cannot uh, I can add, is it as a display capture? No. Video capture device. That has to be it. Yeah, that's it. Razer Kio. Yeah, let's leave it on default. Resolution. I cannot change that. And configurations on OBS, also in Polish. So I'm not, go not going to fuck around with that, or at least not right now. It already looks good. It looks good. Well, at least for me. The quality is actually fucking dope. So, that's what it looks like. It's not as good as the quality of my iPhone's camera. Right here. That's what I've been recording with. I've been using this shit as my as my webcam. I can already notice that it's not 16 by 9. Which is fucking strange. It's a square. And that's weird. Let's set it on custom and see what's going to happen. Resolution. Let's choose 1080p. And now it works. Perfect. So we'll have to change it. And since the resolution is finally correct, 16 by 9, it looks fucking awesome. I would say just as good or maybe even better than my iPhone's camera. And you can see that box behind me, maybe. All right now you can see it. That's the blue screen. So the next video is going to be on blue screen, that's for sure. Fucking finally. The only thing that's left to do is to set it up. But this is going to be it for this part of the video. So all that's left to do now is to set up, set up that blue screen. But as we all know, a blue screen requires a lot of light. So I'll also is install some strong light.
of our money that I don't accept. Okay, so as you can see I have a blue screen behind me already, you cannot see its effect because I'm not playing anything right now, but as you can see the quality of this camera is very fucking good, I'm positively surprised. This is 1080p at 30fps, yeah it has to be that, and it looks fucking awesome. Everything is sharp and all, you don't even need to use the ring light at all, I mean especially in an environment like this when I have a big ass light over me but I can just turn it off for turn it on for you okay you cannot even notice a difference but there is a fact ton of light in this room but if you would be in a dark environment this would save your ass this would help a lot and you can also see the re reflection in my in my glasses so let me turn it off but basically this is it this camera is fucking awesome in my opinion. And you don't even have to fuck around with these settings at all. Or at least in my case, because I have this neutral lighting. But if you would have something that's yellow-ish, it could be a problem. But in my case, it already looks awesome. I don't even have to fuck around with these settings. Uh, let me see them again. What do we have here? Brightness, contrast... Satur saturation, sharpness, this kind of shit. Now you can you can also zoom in. That's the sharpness. You can move it left and right. You can to show the smoothness of this camera. I'm going to wave my hand like this. As you can see, it's not the smoothest thing ever, but it's going to work. It's good enough. Definitely is good enough. As a comparison, I might, I might add it in an, a video from my iPhone, which is 1080p at 60fps. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the chroma key to this webcam. To do that, you click on filters, you right click that and click on filters, and then you add chroma key. Okay, and in my case, it's going to be blue. And then you will have to fuck around with this so that you're going so that you will be visible, you and your chair possibly, because you can completely disappear or set it to be just about right. Like now. You can fuck around with that, so with smoothness. That looks about right. Yeah, and that's basically it. This fucking thing, uh, besides the the blue screen, is kind of distracting, but I'll have to get rid of it. Just scrub it out, and that's going to be fine. As you can see, when you set it up correctly, you cannot see any blue artifacts on your hair, especially, or on your clothing. So that's what you're aiming for. You can see that this is kind of glitched, but it's not bad. Okay, and also, I thought that I might just show it to you. If you would like to crop your camera in OBS, you click Alt and then you left click on your camera. I mean, not on your camera, on this fucking, on this fucking thing, on one of these squares. And then you can just crop out whatever you don't want to see. Like this. And one more thing, because I almost forgot. The mic test. I completely fucking forgot about it. So, you can see my mic right here. That's what I'm using right now. HyperX Quadcast. A dope ass mic. Expensive. With decent, I mean very fucking good audio quality. And now, I'm going to change that to Microphone Razer Keo. Apply. 
can already hear the difference, probably because I cannot hear it, but I can imagine that there is a, a decent difference in the sounding of these two f uh, in these two microphones. Let's go back to not that to the HyperX Quadcast. Right now I'm back on my mic on my normal mic, and once again for you. The Razer Kio, I'm already back. I can see already on the on the audio mixer. I'm going to show it to you. Let me add the display capture. Okay. My camera is gone for some fucking reason. Oh yeah, because this is above it. Yeah. Mm. Have to, I would have to move it up. But screw it, you don't need my web you don't need my camera right now. You can see the difference in this on this bar. Right now it is going up to about half of it, and when I'm going to go back to this microphone, it's getting on the red line. So I can already guess that this mic is pretty quiet. But hopefully it's going to be useful for you. That's the best that's the best test I can possibly think of. So yeah. Okay, but this is going going to be it for today's video and for this test. Now you can see me on the entire screen. I cropped out all everything that was unnecessary, so you can see the image from this camera, which is stretched out a lot to cover the entire surface of the screen, and it still looks good. You cannot see separate pixels or any of this kind of shit, so it still looks great. But, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.